In this video, we're going to go over this model of a motor neuron. So functionally, this neuron is called a motor neuron. And structurally, it is called multipolar, and that is because it has multiple extensions. So we could see all the different extensions right here. This is the body of the neuron, and this is going to be the nucleus. These blue structures here are called nasal bodies, right here. These are the dendrites, right here. Basically, some of the extensions of the um, cell body. And these are called telodendrites, right here. These are actually, we could think about them as the end portions or extensions of other neurons. So remember um, that neurons communicate with each other. So this one uh, probably belongs to one neuron, this belongs to another neuron. And they synapse so that they could communicate with one another. This is called the axon helix right here. So this is the beginning portion of the axon, but they couldn't fit it on this model. So this is kind of like the rest of the axon, as you could see right here. Um, now the axon is going to be wrapped with myelin sheets right here. Remember, this is what allows action potentials to travel fast and really jump on the neurons. Without these uh, myelin sheets, communication or the um, traveling of action potentials would be much slower. Um, this is a motor neuron, so these myelin sheets here are produced by um, these Schwann cells. So each of these, you can see the nucleus of the cell, each of these is actually a Schwann cell that forms a blanket, it kind of like becomes a blanket and wraps around the axon of the neuron. So here we could see one Schwann cell right here wrapped around the axon, here's another Schwann cell, here's another one over here. Now in between these Schwann cells, you could see a little bit of space here, right here and right here, and also right here. This is called the node of Ranvier. So when action potential is traveling, it will jump from one node to another and to another. Here you could see the nucleus of the Schwann cell. Um, right here, this is connective tissue that's basically um, surrounding the axon of the neuron. This is called the endoneurium. And remember, um, the membrane, the cell membrane of the neuron is called neurolemma in the case of neurons. So we call this the neurolemma, the membrane. Okay, and that is it for this model.